Hello everybody, today I have a few things to share with you but the first thing I want to share with you is the change of my channel name. I have never really liked Scrap and Happy as a channel name. I just did it because I couldn't find anything else at the time and for a couple of years now I've wanted to change it but I never have and this year I thought you know I'm going to do it going to change it so from now on it's going to be my cottage crafts the my spell mi um, as you'll see below but that is a name I've had on my mind for the last couple of years now and I'm changing it so that's what it is so I hope you like it and I hope you'll still visit uh, the next thing I'm going to share with you is a couple of things I found at the op shops or thrift stores and the first one is this beautiful crystal candle holder isn't that just a lovely look at that just beautiful and I thought that will make a lovely elegant pincushion so that was the first thing I found the second thing I found was some doilies just a couple I only grabbed the ones that I really like so I love these Battenberg style doilies so I got that one that's quite a nice size and it's really soft I do like the soft ones rather than the crisp brand new type <laughs> although they do soften up anyway but these ones have been well loved by the feel of it just let me move that one and the next one is another Battenberg style one and it's a runner and it has the flowers in the center and that one's really pretty as well beautiful so I found those two and then I found a embroidered doily as well and this one's heavily starched this one, it's almost like cardboard it's so stiff so it needs a good um, soften but isn't it beautiful the cross stitch it's just lovely um, so that will be beautiful and I love finding them in these colors these are just so pretty so that was the one I found and then I found some a few fabrics I found a few fabrics and the first one is this lovely it was a, a filler bag you just fill a bag up and I didn't actually fill the whole bag but I just grabbed a few pieces that I thought were really nice and it's a nice upholstery fabric so there's that one there's that one there as well which is a really nice thick one there's this really pretty one it's like a linen and it has different flowers on it so that's pretty and it's really nice and soft that one the next one is it's like a, it's off a sample book but I like the um, the weave of it it's a really nice weave so I'll just be able to use that and then I got a few pieces of calico just like off cuts of calico because they always come in so handy and you know if you can get them like this rather than having to buy them by the meter it's even better so I got those and then I got this nice cotton print fabric. I got a little bit of chambray, which is always nice. And then I got this one here, and that's a nice thick one as well. And the texture on that is really nice. And then lastly, I got some velvet, which is, is quite nice. I like that, and there's a fair bit of that there as well. So that was my filler bag fabric. I also got some a little bit of wadding because I'm running out of um, it's not wadding sorry it's fiber fill you know what you put in cushions and things like that because I'm going through quite a lot at the moment so every time I find a bit I, I grab that and then I got some embroidery uh, not embroidery crochet thread a nice fine one and they have this packet of tissues there they have been open but there's none missing and they're the lovely Kath Kidson ones so they'll be lovely for decoupage work those ones and that is oh, I thought there was a little name on it oh here we go 
classic rose classic rose so that was a nice find as well uh, the next thing I found were a few books and books uh, to my utter delight were on half price so I found I found I found four books but I've only got three here because one's down there it wasn't really for me so I found this book on orchids it's a golden guide and look at that isn't that lovely look at the images in there that's a really nice find and that was that was it was a dollar but it was half price so I got four books for three dollars and I was so happy with that so that's a lovely little book isn't it it's just beautiful so that was the first one I found and the second one I found was this one and it's a large one it's a well it's like a, a family photo album type thing but it has all these um, like these images in here and when there's an image there's not normally you know another image on the back of it let me just move that down but I thought these images would come in useful in journals and things like that and also the frames to cut the frames out and use those as well and plus pieces of the actual paper because it's a nice um, it's a nice thickness of paper so I got that it hasn't been used but it's got some nice images in there perhaps not the bright red ones but you never know um, Yeah, so nice images and that one that was two but it was one and then oh goodness I couldn't believe what I found I found this two but it was one dollar oh I'm so happy because I've only got a few pages of this that Michelle sent me um, and of course I haven't used them because I've only got a couple of pages and now that I've got it, I think, how can I possibly cut that up? <laughs> so, but what a find for a dollar. So happy about that. So, that was a true blessing, that one. And then, let me just make sure I haven't... Okay, so, next thing. I have been making things I just haven't really finished anything um, to show you I mean really I've been busy making little sewing machines and things like that I've made all these little sewing machines um, so I have been <laughs> I have been doing a lot of stuff I just haven't really had anything finished to show you and I've got a heap more of these to make and larger ones as well I've got oh, see this like that one's already sewn up but it's not stuffed or anything and I've got all these things that I'm working on at the moment and another pile of things over there as well and I was all also making oh Yes, I was also making some fabric flowers. I had, um, I already had these, I had three of these flowers because I want to make flowers for above my window lamps. And I was looking at these and I thought, you know, this is the color type that I want above there. So I've got three of these that I can use. And then I made a couple of leaves, you know, that I might be able to use as well and I used um, the lovely wedding kit that came from Bonnie and Clive and um, I used the satin slightly tea stained though I just I slightly dipped it in some tea so I made lots of leaves with some of the satin in there and then I made some flowers as well using the same satin some more leaves there so I have been busy and so I've um, these ones I found thrifting 
quite some time ago now these glittered ones they're just beautiful so I use those for the center and then I've used Bonnie's lovely wedding satin behind it and then some of her wedding trim as well under that so I thought you know they they go quite nicely together um, and I have to make them big otherwise I won't be able to see them which is you know big flowers usually aren't my thing but I've made these and then oh, I've been busy busy I've also been making paper flowers and I haven't finished them yet I've got them on the go but they're you know a bit time consuming and because I'm making so many of different things at the moment you know I want a break from them every so often so they're not finished they've still got a few layers to go under them but that's them and they're all made out of book paper on wire and um, little silver pom-poms in the center there so they still have you know they probably will be about that big by the time they're finished so I've been working on those and when I decided to take a break from working on these I was watching some videos and I came across an older one I think it's older I'm not sure from Gail Agostinelli um, and she was making all her book paper tags and things like that so I thought you know I need some more of these so I sat there and <laughs> I, made, I made lots of tags I mean I have made these before I think most of us have but it was a nice reminder to get and make some so that was nice to do so I've made all those and they're just gluing pages together from books and things and then some just square tags and then more bigger tags up the back here like those big ones um, just from some books that I used pages out of already I also made another box to put them in that's just it's just glued together paper and I bent it while it was drying just to sort of hold things up a little bit so they don't fall forward and you know until it's full but that was a nice reminder to do this and this is just a box from you know when you go to your grocery store and they have things in boxes this was an empty one so I grabbed it I think it was nuts a nut box I grabbed it and I just covered it in book paper as well so I've been busy making that and then I was watching videos like I said and Doreen from Ulala Vintage Treasures was making some lovely decorated uh, flowers out of cupcakes glassine cupcake cups uh, I don't have glassine ones but I do have the normal ones and so I decided to make some of those as well so I've made a bunch of the little cupcake liner flowers that Doreen and I'll put a link to that in the description box but I'll put a link to the uh, the, the to Gail's video as well and to Bonnie's store where she sells her lovely wedding kit and these are just cupcake liners and I just put layers of tulle uh, my tulle from baby craft which I have finally finished one full roll so luckily they sent me two because now I'm on to the second one I'm so pleased I finished it though um, yes I've just put the cupcake liner I put tool in mine and I've got a bit of lace because I've got a whole pile of scrap lace here from making the sewing machines um, a little rosette flower there and another piece of the wedding kit from Bonnie and Clive and that's a beautiful applique piece that one so they're nice little flowers oh and some seam binding and I got that one from witchcraft do you do and that these are really nice to put on top of a gift if you're giving somebody something you know when you send a happy mail or something you can just stick that on top of the gift so simple to make so quick and easy to make so I made four in the the creamy colors and two in the the light green because I don't have a huge amount of these rose at flowers so <laughs> I went with what I had the next thing I did was I made oh yes she was making CD decorated CD bags as well and I thought they were lovely 
just to put little bits as gifts in so I made a pile of those as well and I didn't have any CD envelopes so I made my own and it's just made the same way as a bag would be made just the same as a bag but I've cut a hole in the center and put some packaging plastic in there and so these are the ones I made I just used some tea stained paper and once again using the little bits from the wedding kit from Bonnie and Clive up here as well some of my own little vintage flowers and another one there I've printed I printed printed words out and cut them inked them up a little bit and I've used the scraps like I said before from the sewing machines that I'm making and a couple of little daisy flowers so we have enjoy we have beautiful and on the back I've just used a circle because I had all these off cuts from the tags I was making so I just used those to make circles about four pieces of paper glued them together which made them nice and firm and that's what I've used excuse me that's that's what I've used to just tuck it under punched out a flower and put a daisy um, that one has a daisy actually I think the other ones have a little bit of the wedding kit on them um, but I ran out of the little flowers so we have enjoy beautiful lovely precious bit of glue the back of that that's only got the tiniest little bit of applique there and a monte and charming so that's the cd bags and i'm going to show you how i made these cd bags in a quick how to at the end of this video just in case you don't know how to make a bag like i know most of us do but there are people just new to this that don't know how to so i'll just put it it's just going to be a quick one at the bottom bottom and then I thought you know I can make these in all sorts of sizes like the pastry bags you can buy or you know get from the bakeries and things like that that they put the breads and things in so I've made one in well, that one and I've just used my cutters for this and I made one like that and then I made one really big but I'm not sure how well that will hold up because you know there's not a lot of strength at the side it might be alright if you've got something nice and long and not too bulky in there that should be fine but I haven't decorated those as yet but um, they were fun so thank you for that Doreen um, I'll put a link to her videos her, both her videos for this one and for the, the decorated CDs she was making actually I think she had another one as well and I started playing around uh, but these are slightly different these are not these are just from all the off cuts that I was just making I think that's it um, because I had circles cut from the bag and so I just you know I just she was using um, what was she using coffee filters I think she said I'm not sure whether I finished watching that one um, and you just there's your circle fold it up fold it in that one slips in there like that and I thought I wonder if I've still got one here I've got one here there's a circle but I thought I can get something and put it there when I'm ready to use it in a journal or something like that and once again these little tags are just book pages laid together glued together with a glue stick and a hole punched and I can just decoupage that when I'm ready to use it so that's what I've been doing so I have been very busy I just haven't really completely finished you know well I have I've finished the CDs but there's nothing in them they're just for future happy mails or things like that oh and I did receive a postcard from the lovely Nadine Basso from France a beautiful 
beautiful Christmas postcard. So thank you so much for that, Nadine. That was a complete surprise and very, very sweet and kind of you. Um, that is lovely. Thank you very much. And I'll put Nadine's channel in the description box below also. So I think that's it. And I hope this video didn't take too long. And I hope you will stick around if I mean you don't have to of course I just show how I make the CD envelope um, it I don't decorate because D Doreen shows you how to decorate them over on her video so I'm just showing you a video on how I made my little CD envelope and that's all and I've also been making some little stitcheries they're just hand stitch little um, tag things these are all made from the scraps from making the sewing machines also um, who was it uh, Pebble Cottage Crafts was talking about the slow stitching now I've always done hand stitching so it's nothing new to probably a lot of people but it is fun it is one of those things that's a bit time consuming and I love the way that she did it when she was unwell, when she wasn't feeling she could do anything else and I think it's perfect for that sort of thing. I used to do a lot when I was pregnant many, many years ago um, because it's such a gentle craft to do. So, But anyway, I'll put a link to her video in the description box below also because she's doing some lovely work with some stitcheries as well. So they're the ones I've made. They're just all pieced together with all the scraps from the sewing machines and a couple of mother of pearl buttons, which I love, love, love. And I just used my crochet thread, very fine crochet thread to embroider mine because I wanted to keep them well they were the colors I was using so that's what I did and I just wanted to mention in the DIY the plastic packaging I've used is pre-loved it's you know bags that have been sent sometimes these crinkly bags they rip very easily down the side when you're opening things up but I still keep them that's what I've used and that's why they're all crinkly if you only have new ones all you have to do is scrunch up your bag and you will get that lovely the vintage used look and that's the look I wanted for mine I didn't want it sparkly and you know um, absolutely flat and brand new looking I wanted it to look like it was a little bit used and well done.